Hi friends, today we are going to install Ubuntu 24.04 LTS on a virtual box. To do that, open Google and search for Ubuntu download and open this site. You will get this page. So download the Ubuntu LTS and the ISO image of Ubuntu 24.04 will be downloaded. To save time, I have already downloaded it. It's there in my downloads. So let's straight away go to the installation process. So we are installing it in a Oracle virtual box. To do that, this is the home screen. So let us start with new. Give any whole, give the name of the virtual box, virtual machine, uh, guest operating system image, a uh, name for the virtual box. Let's say one two twenty four dot o four. So let us select the ISO image. It's there in the downloads. So I'm selecting it. So as you can see, the Ubuntu ISO image has been selected. So keep in mind, so when you are putting the checkbox here, so it will say you have selected to skip unattended guest OS install and the guest OS will need to be installed manually. If you are removing the checkbox, it says detected OS type Ubuntu 24.04. This OS can be installed unattended. This install will start after the wizard is closed. So let's say we will check this one. What's next? So by default, the username will be Vbox user and the password will be change me and the host name will be Ubuntu 24.04. So when you are trying to install it unattended way. So in this scenario, we are installing it manually. So let's check box this one and hit next. So it's asking for the memory. So I'm assigning around 4 GB of memory and three processor cores. You can assign as per your hardware. So keep in mind, you need to divide your hardware resources depending upon the operating or depending upon the guest or the virtual machines you are about to install. So in my case, I have 16 GB of memory in my laptop. So I'm giving 4 GB of physical memory as the resource for the virtual machine and three cores of processors. Hit next. So by default, it's asking to give 25 GB of hard disk space. So let it be default and finish. You can verify the settings here. It's much, much your machine name is over to 2404 and the base memory I have given is 4 GB and the processor is 3 GB, 3 cores and the hard disk space is 24. Let in case, let's finish. You can see here, let's say if I have come up with a new idea to edit the hardware requirements. So you need not to do a delete all. You can go for settings and you can add the hardware as you need. So let's say if I want to add one more network card. So by default, only one network card has been enabled. So the adapter to let me enable it. So the new, the second network adapter has been added. If you want to add one more hard drives, you can add it here. You can plus, you can add the hard drive at attachments and you can select it here and add hard, add hard drives. You can add one more hard disk. If you want, let's say serial port, you want serial port to enable you can enable one serial port let's say if you want to disable the enable disable the audio you can do so so by this you can change it change the hardware requirements of your virtual machines hit ok so we need to start the virtual machines now hit start then in the installation will start now <coughs> the powering vm of now So this is a bit big operating system, so it might take some time. So let me enlarge the screen. As you can see, the screen size is small. So if you want to see the screen on a full screen mode, hit OK and select scale mode. It's ask you for switch. As you can see, this operating system, you can see it in full screen mode. Try, it's asking for try or install Ubuntu. Let me hit install Ubuntu as this is a virtual box you can install multiple operating systems in this ubuntu rocky or uh, linux uh, red hat windows any operating system or a new i have the detailed video regarding this oracle virtual box it's there in my playlist you can go and see what all the advantages and disadvantages skip this error so this is due to the unsupported graphic drive 
So as we are installing it in virtual machine, it's giving the alert. So give us some time. So the error will pass on and the next screen installation screen will come. As you can see, the guest operating system that is Ubuntu 24.04 is about to install. So it's preparing Ubuntu to get it installed. Let us give some time as we are installing this operating system in virtual box. So it, it is taking bit time. But virtualization is one of the useful way you can utilize all your hardware resources. You can divide all your physical memory and install the uh, install the guest operating systems and your you can allocate the processors and this is the best way to utilize your hardware resources effectively. Now Ubuntu is about to start now. Installation is about to start. Now it's asking to Choose the language, let it be default, English, hit next. It's asking for accessibility in Ubuntu, we will go with the default, hit next. It's asking for the keyboard layout language, let it be by default, English, hit next. It's asking for the connect to the internet, use wired connection, if you can, if you have the internet ready, you can connect it and you can assign the IP address for the LAN connection. If you don't want to connect to the internet, as this is a test environment, I am skipping it to do not connect it to the internet. Hit next. So it's asking to install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu. So we are installing it. Try Ubuntu means you can use it as a live server. You can try what all the options available in Ubuntu. So in my case, in our case, we are installing Ubuntu. Hit, inst hit select install Ubuntu and hit next. So it's asking for interactive installation or automatic, automatic installation. So when installing it in an interactive way, the manual one. So set select the interactive installation and hit next. It's asking to install recommended proprietary softwares. So we hit next. So let us go for default. It's asking now, how do you want to install Ubuntu? Here is disk and install Ubuntu or manual installation. By selecting the manual installation, you can select the space for root, swap and home. So in, in our case, we'll install it in a default. Here is disk and install Ubuntu, hit next. So it's asking to create a user. So as this is a test machine, so we are giving username as test and computer name as test username and the password is test at the rate one two three and confirm password test at the rate one two three as you can see here i have given a password as test at the rate one two three required password to login or else it will login automatically hit next so let's select the location Let's select Australia, hit next. So you can verify the configurations which you have selected. So the partition will be created as SDA1, SDA2 or ext 4 And you can see here it's VBOX hard disk, SDA. Erase disk and install one tool, hit install. So let us give some time, so it will install. So let me speed up the process and let me come back to you when the installation process is completed. Thank you for your patience.
thank you for your patience friends so now it's asking to restart the machine the installation has been completed now let's restart now the virtual machine is starting the guest operating system for the first time Please remove the installation bit and press enter. As we have selected the ISO, select it, select enter, and then reboot will pursue. Continue. Now the operating system is booting. As you can see, I am able to see the login prompt. So the user which we, the username which we gave while installation is test. Now let's select the test username and let us give the user password. Test at the rate one two three. Hit enter. Now let us do the initial setup. Hit next. It's asking to enable the Ubuntu Pro support. As you know, this is the LTS, so you will be having a minimum of five years of security updates, and it can go up to twelve years. So, if you are going with the Pro support, Ubuntu Pro support. So, as of now, we'll skip for now. You can, if you want, you can select it as Pro support later on. The minimum support is five years. It can go up to twelve years. So it's asking, yes, you, you want to share the data with Ubuntu. So no, you don't want to share data with Ubuntu. Hit next. So hit finish. So this is the home, this is the desktop. So we have finished doing the initial setup. As you can see, it comes with basic uh, app applications like browser, files, app center. You can go to app center and you can download any apps you can search and you can download any apps the basic games are also available you can see here art type its categories are also available so if you can go here show apps you can search for all the apps here so you can go for text editor so by default, the office is not installed. You can install it later on. So let me open the terminal and show you the configuration of Ubuntu 24.04. So let us go for you name F1A. You can see it's the kernel is Linux kernel 6.8 and Can go for release you can see here it's ubuntu ubuntu 2404 lts release date is release is 2404 so this is the simple way of installing the operating system this is the so as you see while installing i selected two network cards so if i'm going to the settings <coughs> Going to the network, you can see, I can see two network cards. This is as same as the physical operating system, physical machine. You can create a number of machines and you can practice it. This is very useful for any student who wants to practice in operating system or in develop any software or testing. So this is the latest one. So this comes with Linux kernel 6.8 and Genome 64. So this is it so you can browse you can install and you can browse around the operating system what all the applications and how to use it you can update and you can upgrade the operating system also if you if you face any 
problem that you are not able to connect to the internet to the guest operating system please let me know i will share you the hack the tip to connect the internet with your host machine to your guest machine so if you have any queries please let me know thank you for watching my videos thank you friends